Hi everybody, this is Eric from Switched, and today we're going to be adapting the Blitz Bubble Blowout, which is a bubble machine, and these instructions are specific to this one, but they could also apply to pretty much any other bubble machine. And it's really not that hard, all you really need to be able to do is solder a few wires together. So we're going to start by removing the three screws on the back of the bubble machine. Once those screws are removed, there's one final screw hidden behind this little bubble. All you need to do is pry out the plug and it will expose the screw and remove it. Once all four screws are removed, you can go ahead and lift the top of the toy off, exposing the fan, the battery compartment, and the switch. So we're going to remove the button first and just kind of wiggle its way out. There's a couple wires that connect the circuit board there, but it shouldn't be an issue. Then we're going to remove the two screws that hold the fan assembly in place. And I just want to point out that these screws are a little different than the other ones we removed, and you want to make sure you keep track of them. So go ahead and pull out the circuit board and the battery compartment and then finally the fan assembly will lift out as well. Set the housing aside and now we're going to work on getting our wires prepped for our 3.5mm headphone jack. So go ahead and snip the wires off the circuit board and strip them down. Next we need to drill a hole so that our 3.5mm headphone jack can get to uh, those wires. So we're going to drill one hole in the bottom right hand corner of the fan assembly and one hole in the bottom right corner of the housing assembly itself. Now a great place to do that is behind the bottom right screw hole. Now we're going to prep our 3.5mm headphone jack. Go ahead and strip the black casing as well as the three wires inside. Your wire colors may vary. Fish the, the wire through the housing. And through the fan assembly. Reinsert the fan assembly into the housing and make sure you have enough slack. Go ahead and secure the 3.5mm headphone jack line with a zip tie. This will keep it from accidentally being pulled out. Now this is where things may get a little different for you. Our headphone jack had a white, yellow, and green wire. And we needed to connect the green and yellow wires together and the white wire is separate. You may need to experiment in order to figure out what combination works for your toy. Go ahead and solder the yellow and green wires together to one of the wires from the button and you want to uh, use a little bit of electrical tape to keep the wires from touching and secure the white wire to the other wire from the original button. Reinstall the battery compartment, making sure not to pinch any wires and reinstall the original button. Reinstall the screws that hold the fan assembly in place and now's a good time to give your toy a test. If everything works well, go ahead and reinstall the front plate and secure with the three screws in the back. one screw in the front hidden compartment. And don't forget to reinstall the plug. And that's it. Give your button a press and the fan should spin up. And as for as long as you hold the button, the fan should operate. When you let go, the fan should stop. Switched. Adaptive Toys, making play possible.
For more information and additional toy manuals, visit us online at www.switchtoys.org.